Hi, I'm Manu Rasulza. Hi, I'm Mubir Arshiwala and we are part of the strength and conditioning team for you Mumbai this season. Let's start with the name. So Manu B is actually <laughs> half of Manu, that's actually his pet name and my name is Abir so we just removed the A and the R and had it collaborated. I know a very cheesy name but that's the best that we could come up with. Yeah. But the whole, Easy as well. Yeah, but the whole story behind Manny B was uh, we always wanted to give back not just to the sport that gave us so much but other sports generally and you know adapt, evolve and give something back to different sports in the country. So yeah, that's the story behind Manny B and I mean for the whole where we met, uh, it was on a football field. And I think uh, it's all about your vision and the perspective and I think that just clicked and over the years uh, training under him and working together we just realized that this is a field that we want to get into and yeah, we are here we are. Manny B 101. <laughs> First, I was a player, and then, uh, then I got into strength and conditioning for the football team. I was a player, part of the football team. Then got into strength and conditioning for the football team. Trained them. Was like a senior player in the team. And then I got into the volleyball strength and conditioning team. Did that a couple of years ago. And after that, we got into the online thing of U Mumba Fitness Circuit, where we train and educated the fans for a year and a half. I mean, the whole pandemic. And now taking this all into it, we go into the kabaddi season. And I'm again hoping to be the difference between the first place and second place. With the football team, we did manage to come in the semi-finals. We did manage to come in the semi-finals for the volleyball team as well. We need to go one more step ahead now. Hopefully, we do that. When we realized that strength and conditioning as an aspect is always lacking in sports, uh, for this country at least. It's super important, super, yeah. super important where people ignore it, but it cannot be ignored anymore because if you want to get play at the highest level, you have to take care of this part, especially right. playing the condition. Like sports specific training, general fitness, everything comes together into a holistic approach. And uh, we realized that as youngsters, as young athletes, we don't have that. And if we can give that to a young athlete uh, at the like the prime stage of their career, uh, we didn't maybe know. they'll be better players. We didn't know what was strength and conditioning. We had no idea what was strength and conditioning. It's, I think last four or five years it's come into play but again now it could be done by anyone so we are here to do it the right way and we are the best level for any sport any sport yeah Like we want to get the new technology kind of thing into the training, like you know, doing fitness tests or, or getting technology. Like there are a lot of stuff like reaction tests, time testing, and all that stuff. So we want to get, we want to evolve, get the modern technology into the sport. As you see, like kabaddi was nothing seven years ago, but right now it's gaining a lot of momentum. And why not? If it's gaining so much momentum, we need to get the best into it. And strength and conditioning is such a broad spectrum. Uh, but it is so important to make it sports specific, especially for athletes who are in their preseason. So, just incorporating sports specific training for uh, these Kabaddi players is like the main thing. We are hoping that that's what. It, it could makes be new to better. someone, it could be yeah. new to most of the players, but that's what we are here for to get the new thing, get them used to it, which will make them better. Yeah. I'm hoping, the, I mean, I know there's been two years of gap, uh, the players would not be really fit, but I, I think that I've seen the nationals happen, so I'm hoping basic fitness, if they come with basic fitness, makes our work easy, and uh, again, uh, if the fitness levels are not up to par, at least basic, then a lot of injuries could happen, so I'm hoping basic fitness. During season, now, this is the most important part, during season, we are there, there so not to make them overload with training. We need to call it off here. This is this, this is enough for today. And sometimes players are, players are in that zone. We're like, no, no, I have the energy. I want to do it. But 
we are there like no this is it because for them they want to go and all out and win it i understand you and yeah, exactly but that's when we come into play and tell them like this is good enough for today because that could lead to injury or doing could injury and a lot of other stuff because we are playing games like every two days that's going to be a schedule and so it's not going to be easy like and sometimes if you're playing today tomorrow might just be recovery you might not even train because you got to be fresh for the next game we'll have to sit down with the coach see what he has in plan and uh, according to what he's plan where we can fit our planning because i could tell you like oh we want to do a lot of running a lot of fitness a lot of this but it wouldn't make sense right now because again he, as i said he would have a different plan for technical technical work could be morning and even technical i could not be doing anything in the day so that day i would probably like just look into mobility just relaxing and you know because uh, again we have to sit with the coach make a plan for a good 21 day and then go about it